Disclaimer, I love all the lyrics in Wicked, I love Wicked, this is just for fun. Controversial, I know, but that's what we came here for. We came here for the tea and I am delivering it. Hey, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. It is about to get controversial and in the most thrillifying way possible. So recently I was on Twitter and someone was asking, what is the worst lyric in Wicked? As a 100% Wicked stan, at first I was taken aback and then I read the list and I was like, It's fair. So for today's video, I'm going to be going through the worst lyric from Wicked Bracket, and we're going to find out what the worst lyric truly is. As you all know, Wicked is my absolute favorite musical. I care about it so much. It was the first one that really brought me into musical theater. So I feel like I can make fun of it a little bit. So let's begin. So this is gonna get controversial. So first of all, we're gonna start with the top left-hand corner. So the first one, would it be all right by you if I degreenify you? Or like some terrible green blizzard throughout the land she flies. Which one of them do we think is worst? I don't know. I kind of like would it be all right by you if I degreenify you. I do understand that people are triggered because it is rhyming you with you, but I think terrible green blizzard is interesting. The first time I heard it, I thought it was terrible green lizard, and I know that that's what a lot of people think as well, so I'm gonna say that that one is actually worse. So, like some terrible green blizzard throughout the land she flies, that is that is worse, I would say. I'm gonna say that's worse. I mean, how could you not agree with that? I don't know. Or how could you not agree with that? Wow. Wow. No father is not proud of you, or poor Galinda forced to reside with someone so disgustified. I love this so much. No father is not proud of you is a tricky one. I feel like maybe that one's a bit of a stretch, no father is not proud of you. No fa- Does that- A double negative? And then poor Galinda forced to reside with someone so disgustified. I love the creativity and resourcefulness of trying to come up with your own word to rhyme. So I'm gonna say that no father is not proud of you is worse. Nessa, I've got something to confess her. I already know which one I'm gonna pick. Or she who's winsome, she wins him. Personally, I love Nessa. Oh, Nessa, I've got something to confess a reason why. See, that one I think has to win because it's actually leading into the next sentence. So it's not making up confessor. It's actually saying, I've got something to confess a reason why. Whereas she who's winsome, she wins him is just a lot of, a lot for me. So I'm gonna say that that one is, is the worst one. Ah! Okay. Bridges you've crossed, you didn't know you crossed until you crossed. Making some points. I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. Now this is two songs that I love, Thank Goodness and For Good. So it's really hard to pick between them, but I need to take this seriously and for what it really is. And I'm gonna be brutal, I, I have to be. Nobody asked for it, but I'm gonna deliver it. So bridges you crossed, you didn't know you crossed until you crossed, is just a fact. I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. That's fine, it's a weird way to word it, but it makes sense as a sentence, I guess. <laughs> I apologize, it's what I have to do, that one. This is how I feel right now. If I am making your favorite lyrics go into the worst lyric bracket, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. All right, let's go to the next side now. Like a seed dropped by a skybird. We'll get into that one. Or Elikanaman Naman Artem Artem Elikanaman. It obviously has to be like a seed dropped by a skybird because, and now this might be birdist, but most birds are skybirds. Although, emus, not skybirds. Penguins, not skybirds. So, maybe I judged too quickly. <laughs> it's just you could have just said bird, generally. Generally, because even if it was an emu, the seed could have been dropped from just above ground level to the ground. It can always be dropped by a bird. It can always be dropped by a human. We can't fly. I don't know. I'm going too deep into it. I'm just gonna say that that one is the one we're removing. I really like Elikanaman Naman Artem Artem Elikanaman. You feel really so powerful. Cause it feels so wonderful. They think I'm wonderful. Hey look, who's wonderful? Or I've heard of an ox professed from quacks without a doubt, even though the first one is rhyming wonderful with wonderful with wonderful? I've heard of an ox, a professor from Quox. So I'm gonna say that that is the worst one. To those who ground me, take a message back from me. And helping you with your ascent allows me to feel so parental. Ah, oh, sentimental man, it's a classic and a skippable song. Well, the tea is really spilling out today. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick a sentimental man just because it's a bit of, um, 
like I said, a skippable song. So unfortunately, just because of the iconicness of Defying Gravity, I feel like I couldn't pick that one. I'd sooner buy Defying Gravity down at the Oz Dust, if only because Dust. I might have to immediately go back on what I just said about Defying Gravity. I've never fully understood I'd sooner buy Defying Gravity. I don't know about this one. I've got to pick I'd sooner buy Defying Gravity. I know I just said I couldn't pick it because it's Defying Gravity and yet here I am. Now we've made it in a little bit of the bracket. We're getting pretty close to what is called the Jellical Choice, which is just like some terrible green blizzard throughout the land she flies and no father is not proud of you. I think it's gonna be like some terrible green blizzard again. I'm sorry. Now it's she who's winsome, she wins him. Or I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for, which is also rough, but I think I'm gonna have to go she who's winsome, she wins him. On the other side, like a seed dropped by a skybird or I've heard of an ox, a professor from Cox. Okay, I'm picking like a seed drop by, by a skybird. And helping you with your ascent allows me to feel so parental. Or I'd sooner buy Defying Gravity. I think it's I'd sooner buy Defying Gravity. I love... Ah, I don't know. This is so controversial. We're getting down to the final two. Like some terrible green blizzard throughout the land she flies, or she who's winsome, she wins him. Oh, that's a tough one. She who's winsome, she wins him. That's gotta go. That's gotta go. And like a seed dropped by a skybird, or I'd sooner buy Defying Gravity. Like a seed dropped by a skybird. Wow, choices are being made, points are being made, things are happening. We are about to find out the Jellical choice. She who's winsome, she wins him. Or like a seed dropped by a skybird. You know what? I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. Whoa, cliffhanger. I'm gonna put a poll up here and also let me know down in the comments below which one out of those two lyrics is the worst lyric in Wicked. I think I've gotta pick like a seed drop by a skybird. Let me know down in the comments what you think is the worst lyric in Wicked out of these two. Or if I left some on the outer edges and if you think that one is more deserving of the Jellical choice, please let me know as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. I had a lot of fun doing it. I thought it was great, a lot of fun. I felt a little bit wicked. Oh, oh. Anyway, I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye. My jellical choice is like a seed drop by a skybird, but if it was one that wasn't in that, it would definitely be the wickedness must be punished but good. I don't get it.